This is the Van Edwards, aka the Van the Connector, connecting you, yes, you, to the knowledge that will empower yourself. Now I'm just coming live. I've got a call in about 20 minutes, but I'm just gonna go on it for, for a few minutes and um just raise some awareness. I'm gonna get we're gonna we're gonna get a bit into that. Um so I want to go live on Instagram just for a bit and just talk about the mind. You did I don't know if you heard the phrase, um is often found in the Kabbalion, this uh, ancient text. And it says the universe is mental, all is mind. And um when you and then you know a lot of people say like it's all a mental game, like when it comes to high level sports, high level competition. Um it, a lot of people a lot of um high level performers they say it's all a mental game, right? And it's funny because yeah, it's it's all a mental game and it's all in the mind and we often hear that but we don't often seek understanding of that. But why not? And that's what that's why even this month is like um this last week I think it was uh, mental health awareness week. So people a lot of people are saying like mental raising awareness about mental health. Because what was what's required is that we gain education, we gain an understanding, and then we apply the education and understanding to ourselves. Because the only one we're competing with is ourself, right? And so when it comes to the mind, let's 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 give a let's give an example with um being stuck, getting unstuck, right? You cut. You can. You can. You can never be really. You can never be stuck. You can only be. You can only be stuck. Stuck if your mind is stuck. Oh, hey Jeffrey, how you doing? So you can only truly be stuck if your mind is is stuck. I'm trying to wave. I don't know how it works. <laughs> but yeah, you can only be stuck if if your mind is stuck. And with the mind, that connects to our growth in every way, whether it's mentally, spiritually, physically. And Within our mind, we have to become more dynamic and fluid in how we're um, and enhance our perception to the external stimuli and how are we responding to it. So increasing our responsibility to the external circumstances that's going on by focusing on ourself, focusing on our mind and raising awareness of how we grow within ourselves and how we handle what's going on. And that comes from... Um, understanding that comes from changing the language what we say to ourselves that comes from um improving the thoughts that we think um it comes from learning right it comes from improving our overall con um, cognition and strengthening our and sharpening our brain so that um things does things do not affect us in the way that it um normally would right and um, I wanted to share something. Yeah, I'm good, bro. How you doing, man? All, all is great. All is great. <laughs> Can't complain. About to get on a call in a bit. It's literally 11.44. That's jokes. I share. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to speak a bit about the mind. Um, I was reading a few studies around around neuroscience and whatnot. And what's funny is that um, it said that when doing, because I do, I do a training called uh, cognition, right? And let me just show you if I can flip it around. So yeah, I just did my session. So I'm on like 136% improvement in my cognitive function. Um, and I've actually noticed a lot of changes in terms of myself whilst using this, um, training your brain every day and what it, what it does when you're not realizing. So one of the things I realized is an expanded awareness and I know, trust me, everything's divine timing, facts. <laughs> it's, it's literally, it happens every day, like, for me, like, it ha I know it happens for you. And, um, and that's, that's the great thing about, like, training, training, not only training your brain, but expanding your consciousness, like, um, get, gaining more, gaining new information and absorbing light in different ways, because information is also light, right? And gaining um, certain truths that, that resonate within your heart and your mind and your body and spirit. It changes you in a way, but if you're not aware of that, then you can't really tap into the essence of what that can mean for the rest of your life growing growing forward, right? Because 
one of my teachers said, um, the doorway to your mind can only be kept open by your choice to grow. I'm going to say that again. The doorway to your mind can only be kept open by your choice to grow. So, if you, I mean, you know, you know, in a normal game where you want to level up, you got you got to make some certain decisions to get to the next level. You know, you got you got to be open. You got to be receptive to all the ways that you can overcome these hurdles, right? And any obstacles that come in our way is is really just opportunities, a situation opportunities for for growth and development, and. When we learn and understand that now and apply it to ourselves, any obstacles that come our way will not affect us as it as it as it would do usually normally right so I just, that's that's something I just I really wanted to share and with this cognition system, I remember um, reading a study where it's like um, over time from using it your the speed of your brain waves increase. So what so that so what, what does that mean? When the speed of the brain waves within uh, within your brain increase or speed up, your processing time um, speeds up. And when your processing time speeds up, that in, that enhances your perception, enhances your awareness. So if you you'll start noticing that when you're moving in your day to day, you start noticing things you never noticed before. And it's like your 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 brain picks up different things that you never did pick up before, and even stuff about yourself that you never picked up before. So a lot of people, when it comes to mental health, and um, they're struggling because there's no clarity, and mental health is closely linked to brain health. But we people like to raise awareness about mental health, but brain health is closely linked. So if you want, if you want to like really take charge of your mental health understand the brain understand the mind because they're, they're they're literally very linked like one's like ask yourself okay if if my if, the, if my mental health is closely linked to my brain health how can i improve my brain health and my mental health how can i improve my my what, what can i do for my brain what can i do for my mind you know can i could i could i read uh, read read some books to challenge my mind hmm? Could I eat some some brain food, some blueberries, or can I, could I could I drink um, a higher quality of water? You know, could I could I could I cleanse my space so that whatever smells I'm ingesting doesn't affect my, my neurons? <laughs> can I could I watch something different that is going to expand my mind instead of just dumb me down? And how and and how and how often am I doing that? That's something that you could. That's something that we could ask ourselves, and write write these things down. Right, write these things down. What what are distractions in our life? Because when we have more mental traction, it overrides the distractions. So if you find yourself distracted, that means you're not generating enough mental traction to actually be able to handle that. And mental traction comes in the form of what are you what are you pouring into your mind? What's the input? Because if the input is something that's going to affect you negatively, then your output is going to be bad mental health. Your output is going to be poor brain health, you know. And input input comes in in many ways. You eat by what you're by you eat through different ways. Again, light's information. Light is in everything. But there's different degrees of light. So, like, let's say if you're on the screen, like, for example, I've got my laptop in front of me. There's there's certain radiation. How is how 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 much is it affecting me? Am I taking a break from it? You know, am I am I understanding what it, what it could do if I if I don't um, hydrate? If I don't do these certain thing, put these certain things in place. You know, and even with my even with the foods. How observe like how is how is this how does the food make you feel? Does it does it taste good and make you feel good, or does it just taste good and then you crash? What could it be, right? What could it be? So that's something to evaluate. Remember, it's all a mental game, 
and um again tune, tune into my page if you want to if you want to just to observe different things that i'm doing as well because sometimes i share it on my stories on my posts and you can get some more insight in terms of how you can only not only train your brain but like nourish your brain and build a better you empower yourself in your mind body and spirit because there's many there's many there's many ways to do it but you gotta ask yourself is it effective okay ask yourself is it effective and we want to do to to really um compress time frames we want to do stuff that are productive effective because you know a lot of people say time is illusion but if there's no time then what, what is there there's movement and now how can you leverage the way you move and how, the way you navigate um your mind because if all is mind how are you going to navigate your mind now in this reality towards your desired success and how often do you have to do it you do it until you know you do it until it works they don't you can't put a time frame on it because you can put a time frame in it but you still have to be consistent towards it You're doing a little bit every day one percent better every day okay and i'm gonna end i end i'm gonna end again just to reaffirm that the doorway to your mind can only be kept open because sometimes it can be closed if we're in different environments sort of surrounded by different people different energies it could actually dim dim us down but if we keep our the doorway to our mind can be kept only by a choice to grow so every day we have that choice if we to grow and we accept or decline based on our habits Okay, yeah, ta pe that's another story. People like to say, yeah, time is... <laughs> that's another story. It's a low in, low in dot biz. Yeah. Yeah, time is... <laughs> yes, it's a, it's a construct we're living. But there's more to it. Stay tuned. But yeah, so I'm going to... I'm actually about to get off and um, get on another call. So this is Devan Edwards, a.k.a. Devan The Connector. Connecting you to the knowledge that will empower yourself. Stay tuned. Remember, all is mental. It's all a mental game. Stay empowered and just remember, the connection continues. Take care.